We are in Ahalot, Perak Yud Gimel Mishnah He, fifth Mishnah in the thirteenth chapter of Masechet Ahalot. We're continuing to talk about windows passing through. So we learned about the minimum size of a window. Now we're going to learn about what blocks a window. What if we put something in the window to stop up the window? You know, a window is a hole. So what, how much? What can you put in the hole? And the answer is basically anything that doesn't combine with whatever the tuma is in the house. Says the Mishnah, Elu Mimaatin Et Tepach. These are the things that are mimaet that minimize the tepach. One, so if you have rova atzamot in the house, this is how this is a, the language is a little weird. Okay, let's look at the Bartanura for a second. Im yesh babayit rova atzamot. If you have a quarter cob, rova is a quarter cob of bones. Dimitami baoel. So the house is tame. And then what do you have in the window? Pachot mikizayit mi basar hamet munach bachalon. In the window is less than less than a kizayit of basar mate. Remember, less than a kizayit is not tame. It's not mitame. It's, 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 yeah, it's not mitame. It has to be. A, it has to be a kizayit. So therefore, it now serves. Even though it's, if you added a tiny more bit to get to a kizayit, if you have less than a kizayit, it it can minimize the area of the window. Now it was a tefach. It was exactly a tefach. A tefach on a tefach. Now no longer it's less than that because it's blocked. So therefore, pachot mikizayit basar. Less than a kizayit basar. Mimaet al yideh is really weird, but it minimizes the rov atzama. Similarly. Upachot etzem kisaora, the bone the size of a kisaora. Mimaid ayekze kazaid basar. If you have kazaid basar, a kazaid of human flesh of the house, the house is tame. But if you have in the window less than an etzem kisaora, it can minimize the area of the window and therefore it, the tuma cannot pass through. Now, <laughs> it must be like it's, it's just giving you a theoretical example because this must be the most exact tefach on tefach. Because remember, an etzem kisaora is the size of a saora, a barley. So if I have less than the size of a barley, think about how exact it would have to be. I don't, I don't think this is practical at all. I don't know how that would work, but like if, if, you're, if you're measuring with, I don't know, a micrometer, a micrometer, or whatever that thing is, you know, like an electron microscope or something. Similarly, if you have less than a kezayit of mate or a min of nevela, is a, an animal that was killed, not shechita, less than a adasha, a lentil of sheretz, Pachod mi chabetza ochlim, less than a chabetza of tame foods. Or, ha tfu'a shebechalon. Tfu'a is grain in the window. And the grain is growing uh, farther away. We'll see in the next semester why I'm saying that. The grain is growing and then it grows over and it like it stops up the chalon in the window. Ve kakai shiyesh ba mamash. Kakai, this is the bartender for a second. Kakai, kure akabish. Kure akabish are spider webs. Okay, it's spider webs. Are called kakai, uh, kure akabish or whatever. So these the kakai has bamash. They have to they have to be of significance. They can't be like I guess strands or threads, but it has to be enough to make like a reshe. Like a, we said, remember if you have a net, if you have a screen, that's a blocker. Or vini vlat of tahor shelochi shavale nivlat of tahor. If you have an of tahor, uh, okay, that that um, before we learned, before we learned, uh, nivela nivela is a is an animal that was killed. Now we're talking about nivelata of a, a bird that was that was killed without shechita, a bird that was shechted improperly or that was whatever died. Of tahor, it's kosher bird. Shelo chishav aleha. You didn't think about it. We'll see in a second why that means. Nivelat of tame or non kosher bird that was killed. Bald eagle shechishav aleha v'lo chishira. You thought about it to eat it, but you didn't do hechsher letuma. And hechsher letuma means you got it wet, so it became kabel tuma. Or hechshira v'lo chishav aleha. Or you do, it was muksha the tuma. You did get it wet, but you didn't think about it to eat it. So the bartender explains nivelat of tahor einam etama nivelat of tahor doesn't come tame at shiachshov ale alachila until you say oh I'm going to eat that thing. Then it's metame tumat ochelim nivelat of tame has to have tzricha machshava but tzricha yachshonu to come tame it has to have machshava I'm going to eat the bald eagle and also has to get wet kilomar meaning shavu ale maim or echad mishiba mashkim it has to have gotten wet from one of the seven seven liquids that makes a web water blood milk all those things okay and so with all of these things even though they themselves can become tame or on the precipice of becoming tame right nonetheless they're not tame uh, and therefore since they're not tame they serve as blockers to minimize the size of the window if it itself is tame we're going to see then it can't serve as a blocker to minimize the size of the window we'll stop here now that it's not tame it, it, it becomes tame it says but it has it doesn't have enough but hold me kazayat or pachot mi kibetz, uh, less than the kibetz, excuse me, of food. So that, that's not enough to become tamei in and of itself. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.